click the link to join the channel here or on subscribe star so i made a video about the need to form a parallel econ economic system and, and a parallel society um which is kind of a, a, bi a big topic but and i, just, I thought it would get like 50 views because i was talking about comics gate and indiegogo being shadow banning mike uh, barons and mike miller's comp or banning mike miller but shadow banning mike barons comic um actually it got a, more views than i expected because i guess people are probably uh people are ready for they're they're tired they're tired of political discrimination. They're tired of, of just normal people not being allowed to sell whatever they want to sell. In this case, comics on Indiegogo, which what's happening is they're being shadow banned. With, you can prove it for yourself with Mike Barron, with uh, John Malin, and with Shane Davis. And there's probably a bunch of others. Somebody needs to go through and check them all out. Where they enter into the search engine, if you're, you know, you're there to sell your comic... <laughs> and it doesn't come up. You're like, well, wait a minute. Well, half the half the reason we go to the the site is for discovery. It's like, yes, Comic Skate has a network, which means you're bringing some of your audience, probably most of your audience, with you. But you're also there, and you're counting on a little bit of discovery, which is kind of nice. So the comic tab of Indiegogo or Kickstarter should show your comics, and it should just be you should be using the tags that are in the comics and you use the algorithm to see like what people like they also like this comic and it should just come up organically there shouldn't be any bias in it because people are relying to their detriment on good faith and fair dealing that these generally recognized rules are uh, are going to be abided by on an impartial platform for people to just sell whatever comics and the, the associated toys and t-shirts that go along with comics like these are just Mike Barron, uh, John Malin, Shane Davis, and, and anyone else in CG, like, what did they do where you're trying to destroy their business and destroy their life? Oh, well, they're in Comicsgate. Okay, so if you're an Indiegogo, why don't you be up front and tell people up front, Comicsgate, uh, some Comicsgate's things will be shadow banned. Okay, so the next, the, keep this video short, is as I said in the first video, is it time to form a parallel economic system? Gab Pay, Gab Marketplace with Andrew Torba has got his thing. Give Send Go started up last year because they saw the discrimination on the other platforms. And there's a couple other things that are floating around there. And it's it's time for all these, like in Comicsgate, like what do you think Comicsgate was? It's it's related to the culture wars, res response to these insane mainstream comics. But, and you saw what happened with Mark Way. This is like five years ago. The the political discrimination for for someone daring to think differently. Mark Way decided like I have to destroy this person's life. Oh, that seems a bit excessive. Why? Why exactly? Uh, because he reviewed comics and he said he didn't like them on his little YouTube channel. Okay, and, but you think he shouldn't be able to sell comics? Like he shouldn't be able to do the the thing that he enjoys doing, the thing that you yourself do, write write comics, draw comics, put comics out there. Like he he should he should be banned from that because he has a different political viewpoint than yourself, and he he had back and forth with uh with other people in mainstream comics. Like that that's part of the narrative that's out there is like Comicsgate is a hat group because they had a uh, they attacked uh, I don't know per, these protected classes. And then you look at it and you're like, wait a minute, was it a back and forth? Was it like adults, you know, arguing on the internet? And in their mind, that doesn't matter. Because the, re the re real reality of it is, yes, it was back and forth. This guy is reading comics online. They, they're, they were beyond stupid. It was on myself. Like, I, I didn't believe him when he was – that's why I kind of – I had to read them for myself. So and go like, oh, yeah, not only are they, are they beyond stupid, Myers was dialing it back. So he could remain on YouTube because the real stuff the comics were showing, like you just can't talk about on YouTube. That's how hateful they are. Anyway, um, so, the, so he decided to make his own comics because the mainstream stuff is, is so bad. And then, you know, hey, Comicsgate. Comicsgate, it's a bunch of independent. Like what happened to the left wing? I thought the left wing was all, totally on board in the independent business. Getting a little bit off. But um, yeah, they're all, totally on board independence, except no, no, they're on board with Disney and uh, and Marvel and DC and they're raging against the machine, except now they're raging for the machine. It's weird. We're we're the rebels, and we're raging, except we're on the same side as every bank, uh, every major corporate, every mainstream media, every mainstream social media. All those like these, all these these trillions of dollars of assets, and you like your fist in the air, raging against the machine, sponsored by Bank of America and Disney. Yeah, I mean they're like. In 2012, it was Occupy Wall Street. There's a, there's a meme of that, like 2012 Occupy Wall Street, right? And then 
like a couple of years later, there's a, a pride fl float sponsored by Bank of America. Like, I just want to grab these people on the left. Like, I know, brother, I know you're on the left. I know you're on the left. Just look, just look, look at what happened. I'm not saying you just, in a, just disagree with me, but look at what happened to you guys. Is it possible you got completely subverted and corrupted? And to be fair, there are some people on the left who are looking around at like what's what's going on. You're like, so Antifa BLM, what exactly did we accomplish? Uh, well, we put a lot of people underground. Yeah, but those were mostly our guys, like through accidental deletions. Those were most. Yeah, that's true. But they, yeah, you got me there. Yeah, yeah, you guys were aiming. You guys were aiming at the your opponents, but you actually took out some of your own guys. In fact, you you burned some businesses. Uh, BLM went around burning businesses with um, uh, their own people, small businesses, their own people who who ran the business, their own their own. Yeah, that's true. You guys took down statues of the uh, you know, the Freedom Train, the Underground Railroad. Those guys who were who were helping. The, you know, they were on the north. They were helping people to to end that that. Uh, oh. Yeah, those, those kids would be really upset if they knew how to read. Yeah, yeah. So that that monument to these soldiers, yeah, that was a there's like a, a bunch of black soldiers who were in World War II or something. It's like, yeah, you guys defaced that monument and you called them, um, uh, you know, Hugo Boss types. It's like you you know that was a a black regiment, right? The Freedom Riders group. Oh, hey, bro, we can't read, so you know, uh, just move on, like. It's time for amnesty. It's time to forget. Uh, it's hard to make videos for YouTube and just not lose your mind. I, you know, I was going to say, how do people do it? They do it because they make a lot of money doing it. I do it because it's fun. Um, so, no, if you're shadow banned on the mainstream, you got to create your own website. That's the short version of it. So the detrimental reliance concept of it is they sell the first product. This is this the concept that's changing terms of services and the fine print. And and just you're just not dealing in that, that phrase, good faith and fair dealing it means it, and there's a disparity in, in bargaining power and sophistication between the parties and unconscionable contracts and things like that. It you're just expecting people to behave as adults, and if somebody is so reprehensible, they they make a comic that is just completely out out of out of your values, and you just cannot as a business you just not want them on your platform. You go listen, okay, we, we can't sell this comic for these reasons. But you tell them up front and go like, yeah, don't waste your time on Indiegogo because we have to shadow ban it. Like there should be no shadow banning. There should just be one of the marketing people there just says that, yes, you, we, we do not want your your uh, your business here because this is just not the kind of thing we want to sell. And they'll go elsewhere. They'll create their own and sell it independently. But they're not doing that. They're doing something even worse. They're shadow banning. So the detrimental reliance concept is you sell your first comic, it makes 95K. And then you try to sell the comic, the second one, it goes 30K. And then you look in the search engine, it goes, oh, it's not coming up. Like, we, you, know, you spend money on marketing, press release, video, and all the advertising, and all the, your own time spent networking on all the other comics to get stuff. And you go, oh, yeah, but if it's shadow banning, we need that $100,000. We were expecting to sell, like, you know, $130,000 this time because the... The network has grown. Comicsgate has grown. The individual channels have grown. You're like, you're taking money out of our campaign. This is our business. Why are you doing this to us? So Shane Davis in Glorious Rex, John Malin with uh, his uh, Grave uh, Yard series, and um, and Mike Barron's Private American, those comics are shadow banned. So at this point, you have to create your own website. There's no, there's no solution to this. If they're doing this to you, and now here they the help center admits that they even have code for shadow banning. I look at this and go, why do you even have code for shadow banning? Why don't you just tell them we don't want your business, we do not want to sell this? And then, well, but if we told them up front, Comicsgate would probably as a network, as a as a group, take their business elsewhere. And now here's the thing: there's no Kickstarter, there's no Indiegogo. It is time to build your own website. There's no point in having gatekeepers. If they can do this, if they're willing to be this nefarious and disgusting to shadow ban, just John Manlin is and, and Mike Barron and Shane Davis, you're shadow banning those guys. Why exactly? Because we want to. Oh, OK, well, then it's time to create your own website. So their help center says that they intentionally do this. It says campaigns are not guaranteed to be listed in the search engine. It means if you type in their name in the search engine on Indiegogo, it won't come up. That's insane. If your campaign is not appearing in search, we recommend you go F yourself. Well, you find ways to activate your community to increase. That means instead of discovery, bring your audience with you. It's like, well, why didn't you just tell us that up front? 
uh, because we don't uh, we don't we don't like conflict and we try to avoid it. But you know, Shan, this is a business for these people. We we need to you know like to sell comics. We need to find the audience, and and you're you're effing us in the A, and you're you're telling us it's raining, sort of thing. So is your campaign is still accessible via the URL. So the specific URL, if you bring your audience with you, they can still buy the comic through your own website, but not through Discovery. That's insane. All this stuff is insane. It's time to create your own Indiegogo site, your own. I don't know what it costs to, to create, you know, obviously it's not free to, to you know, put the images up there and, and a little, but it's, I mean, it's just, and, and payment process. Thing is, it's also not an insurmountable hurdle to do this. And you're at a point now where you have no choice. You want to sell comics, you're being discriminated against. I guess this would be political discrimination and, you know, it'd be sweet if our representatives would do something about this, but, you know, don't hold your breath on that. As I've said a million times before that they just vote themselves raises and more money to more money for Ukraine. Oh, we kind of actually like you to do something about the homeless tent cities in America. So more taxpayer money for Ukraine and foreign countries? No, no, the homeless tent cities through America. Why don't you just stop giving money to foreign countries and for the love of God, do something about Americans. So you want us to give more taxpayer money. I don't think you can vote your way out of this. It's all little facets. So, I mean, for this, like, this is one thing you have in your control is you see the political discrimination. They're going to continue to do this. This is your business to sell comics. If they can do it to, to these guys, they'll do it to you guys. You have strength as a group of Comicsgate. The best thing to do would be en masse. Everyone, there's hundreds of Comicsgate campaigns. Get together and say, hey, um, someone's going to build a website. It's going to be open to everybody. If it's legal, if it's legal in the jurisdiction of America to sell these comics or to sell T-shirts and whatever associated stuff, that's our dogma. If it's legal, we'll sell it. It's um, it's Andrew Torba's Gab dogma. If it's, if it's legal political speech, it's allowed on the platform, no matter how objectionable, as long as it's legal. Um, and then he, there's no prurient, um, stuff, which is, it's, you know, he focuses on political speech, but, but that's going to have to be the thing for Comicsgate. You're being shadow banned now. They can do this at any time they want. This is your business. You've got enough money and you have a big enough network now to get people together to just form something. And the upstart shot of it is that you form, Hey, w- yeah, what's this thing? It's, Oh, well, it's called the Comicsgate. It's like a crowdfunding campaign. So 10 years down the road, uh, yeah, it's worth a billion dollars now because they don't discriminate. Oh. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're partnered with with Gab and and and, and Give Send Go, and we formed our own credit union. And it's like, I know how like you hear that and you think, oh, that's that's probably not going to happen. Yeah, it's probably not going to happen. But like that's that is how billion dollar companies get started. They get started with people who said, "Fuck it, we've had enough. We have to do something differently." Well, that's how Comicsgate got started with with one uh, Richard C. Meyer. He he said, "Uh, you know these comics suck. I bet you I could write something better than this." It turns out he was correct. He wrote something better, Iron Sights and Jawbreakers and a bunch of other stuff. And then, then a bunch of other people got on board. They're like, oh, okay, so what's the problem now? Well, YouTube's a gatekeeper. Like, but nowadays, there's Odyssey, which, like, en masse, if everyone left YouTube for Odyssey, like, yeah, I mean, that would never happen. But, yes, y- you could turn that into something. But that's a bigger that's a bigger hurdle. But this, creating a website to sell comics, that's a smaller hurdle. That's well within people's means. I don't know what it would cost to get that thing off the ground, but I think there's probably enough money in Comicsgate. Like, oh, we're going to form a LLC and 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 do this. And, um, you know, it, it might just sell comics and pay for itself, or it might be, you know, billion-dollar company in 10 years. You never know, but it's also like you don't have a choice. They're shadow banning you now, so what are you going to do? Anyway, like, comment, subscribe. See you guys all next episode.